I can tell you that the profit motive of serving the bottom of the pyramid due to its inherent scalability will be sufficient in providing most of the immediate needs of the poor itself. Now, this is a very contentious point. A lot of people disagree with me on this, that, that there, there, no, but it requires a huge amount of government uh, uh, intervention. And yes, all of that to build human capacity, education and health cannot. This cannot be solved privately. However, for other issues such as structural access to cheaper products, structural access to financial inclusion, structural access to credit. Without credit, there is no ability to then take risk to move up to your next level of economic development. As we all know, you, ne you need some access to credit. So in my mind, what, is, what will private sector companies uh, try to acquire or sell to the bottom of the pyramid? It's what they need most. What they need most is actually access to information and access to financial services. The, these are the critical things that uh, people uh, in the poverty line or slightly above the poverty line really need. The third thing they really need is jobs. Not just because of unemployment issue, but because of underemployment issues. These three things with the gig economy is one of the most powerful ways of driving employment, financial services, and information is a smartphone, actually. All three in one. So, I think we are severely undervaluing, and also governments, I think, are undervaluing the benefit of spreading smartphones. I, I, you know, some people go all the way and extend it to a very high concept of digital literacy, all this stuff. Actually, to be very honest, at the bottom, at the, at, at, you know, the, the basic line to me is giving everyone a smartphone. 